Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. My channel aims to bring you quality setups, tutorials, tips, guides, and tours from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So do check out my other videos too. In today's video, we'll be checking out the latest NVIDIA driver update, version 512.15, which was released on March 22nd. You're probably not sure if it's worth updating, but hopefully this video will help you see what kind of results I'm getting so you can make a call about updating it on your own PC. I'm using the HP Reverb G2 for this VR video demo, and I'm running a 3080 GPU with an i9-10900K CPU. This video shows demos for both VR and flat screen modes. Like always, I make these driver update videos to save you time and give my impressions of whether or not I think they're worth updating. Remember that you may see a difference in performance on your own system, so please do let us know how it's working for you. And if you enjoy this content and want to show your support, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel as it helps get my videos to more people. And it's a really good way of showing your support. After a few hours of flying around using the latest driver, I'm finding the overall performance to be very good. Although there are no references to Microsoft Flight Simulator in the release notes, it seems to be a very good driver so far. So I'd encourage you to test it out on your system and see if it's an improvement over the last version. Here you can see the stereoscopic view of the VR translated to the screen using version 512.15 on the left and version 511.79 on the right. You can see I'm getting slightly better frames with the newer driver, maybe one or two at times. So as you know, every little helps and I really do think this is worth an update. You can also see the performance of the sim running in the flat screen mode. Again, a couple of frames gained here, so this is definitely good news. From doing these tests, I'm confident this is a good driver for my system, and I hope the video helps you see the difference in performance with this new driver. As I always say in my driver update videos, I think it's worth trying these driver updates to see if it improves your system's performance with the sim. If it doesn't, you can easily revert to the previous driver, or whichever version you prefer. I'm always keen to hear your thoughts on new drivers and updates, so do let us know how this driver is running for you when flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And do check out my other videos focusing on my latest and best VR settings for the HP Reverb G2 using the OpenXR Toolkit and see if it helps you push your VR experience to the next level. And for something completely different, you might want to check out one of my band's recent performances here in Bangkok, Thailand. As always, I hope you find this content useful. I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.